question that to begin with is what is the under, uh, what is the understanding of evil to the human being bismillah rahman rahim i have mentioned that islam is the most realistic religion to be realistic means to deal with the reality in every dimension in life without being realistic religion will be just mythical mm-hmm. islam is not mythical mm-hmm. islam is the realistic religion the human beings were created as human beings not as angels mm-hmm. and there is a big difference between the angels and the human beings which are so for the sake of the audience angels were created only to worship god ibadun mukramun la yasbiqunahu bil qawl always day and night they are glorifying allah no sin can come from any angel mm-hmm. angels were created from light nur jinn were created from nar mm-hmm. fire yeah. human being was created from clay a question was put in front of imam ja'far as-sadiq that who is better the believer or the angels mm-hmm. imam jafar sadiq said same question was put in front of my grandfather amir al mu'minin alayhi salam and amir al mu'minin replied that allah has created the angels and put in them intellect without desires and allah created the animals and put on them inside every animal desires without intellect mm-hmm. so is one or the other in terms of those creations and allah created the human beings and put in them both intellect and desire mm-hmm. Imam said if the human being follows his intellect means keep if he keeps his intellect the ruler the governor on his desires he will be better than the angels and if a human being neglects his intellect and blindly follows his desires he will be then worse than the animals mm-hmm. life has got good and bad life of the human being mm-hmm. allah created sun moon galaxies atoms everything everything created by god is running according to the order of allah wa in min shay'in illa yusabbihu bihamdih every everything in this universe glorifies praising god walakin la tafqahuna tasbihan but you don't know how they glorify so even the plants glorify every ev- allah said wa in min shay'in means every thing everything mm-hmm. the only being who was being given the option to follow or not to follow is the human being mm-hmm. free you, will you never find any planet disobeying god you never find any sea disobeying god no all are working according to the order of allah mm-hmm. والشمس تجري 
لمستقر لها ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم الله says the sun is following what was being ordained by Allah Allah has put the order and everything is following the order okay okay the human being was given the option to do good or to do bad because the human being has got the intellect which always encourages and orders to do good but also the human being has got the desires and the desires in principle are not bad because our life depend our life depends on our desires i mean we cannot live without eating mm -hmm. and drinking water and the life will not continue without marriage and all these things have got link with the desire but exceeding the desire is the evil it is not wrong to eat but wrong to eat haram mm -hmm. it is not wrong to earn but very wrong to earn unlawful money mm -hmm. it is not wrong to have a wife but very wrong to fornicate mm -hmm. so the desires in the frame of necessity are very good and islam tells us to deal with the desires fairly mm -hmm. when we exceed the limit then evil starts okay um in to put it more into theological perspective because this is going to be about aqaid and theology um people pose that evil could be pain for example pain is regarded as evil suffering is regarded as evil um so the three main points that people put forth is that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all powerful all knowing and all loving then evil should not exist no that is not the, the case at all if you take evil in this meaning mm -hmm. in fact I take evil as wrong but illness poverty mm -hmm. Is not always wrong. So suffering, um, for example, children in Africa yeah. dying or starvation, yeah. for example. Yeah. That is result of an evil act or evil acts of those who did injustice and took away the rights of people. Because in Islam, we have got very clear fact that no person will be hungry, but only because a rich person has stolen his right. ما جاء فقير إلا بما متع به أو منع به غني. So that is a result of the bad deeds of some people. So there's complete balance in this world that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has set forth, but has been neglected by people. No doubt, every human being is created with his sustenance. But some people try to play mischief with the balance, mm -hmm. take the rights of others, resulting on sufferings of the poor children and those who suffer. Mm -hmm. Allah does not leave the person who suffers alone. He's always with, there with them, right? Allah is with them and Allah compensates them, those who suffer. The victimized persons will be compensated greatly with a great reward and great bounties by Allah. But it is not in this life always because this life is not our final life. Mm -hmm. This life is a stage. Of course, it's a, it's, from, yeah, a transit. Yeah. It is a transit. And we are passing from this transit to our permanent life. So those who have been victimized in this life will not suffer forever. No, Allah will compensate them 
those who die, for example, an earthquake. Can we say that they have bad luck? No. Allah will compensate them. Anyone who dies or suffers for no fault from him, Allah will compensate him because Allah is absolute, just, and the most merciful. Allah does not do any justice on any one or anything. Mm -hmm. So in Islamic terms, what, what is considered evil? Because I know there's a verse from the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that anything that happens to you of good is from Allah and everything that happens to you of bad is from yourself. Yes. Evil is bad deeds. Bad deeds is in, yes. in Islamic terms, bad yeah. deeds are evil. Evil is bad deeds. Mm -hmm. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't create evil. Or bad deeds. Allah does not do any bad. But that bad deeds are the acts of people. Mm -hmm. When people opt to do bad, their bad deeds are called evil. Mm -hmm. But not every bad is evil. Say, for example, the prophets suffered from poverty, mm -hmm. from illness. We don't call that an evil. No. It was hardship, difficulty, test, mm -hmm. but evil is a bad deed. And its outcome was, of course, great for, as in, for him being, uh, as you said, repaid by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with things in heaven. No doubt, no yeah. doubt. In fact, everyone who suffers in this life, Allah will compensate him. Mm -hmm. Every person. And we have got authentic hadiths mm -hmm. that in the day of judgment, the person comes and he will be surprised with the great gifts that Allah is giving him for the suffering that he had in his life as on it, this as world. It, as it may be. Yes, and he will wish, the person will wish that I wish that all my life was suffering mm. because he will get the compensation and the gifts for the sufferings mm -hmm. from Allah very great. But wouldn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of course want us to live also comfortably? Allah wants us to live comfortably, no doubt. But when people for any reason are being victimized, yeah. because life is life, mm. Allah will not make all people in this life as angels mm. and we are not angels naturally and ordinarily you will find someone doing injustice on others mm -hmm. and that's why you find suffering it's a circle of life yeah that is life because life is not an ideal life we are not living as angels no. we are human beings yes. so right and wrong even the prophet's son can be wrong as we mm. see Nuh alayhi yes. salam. His son was wrong. His wife was wrong. Prophet Lut's wife was wrong. So it is life. Mm -hmm. But those who are victimized in this life, they will not lose forever. Allah will definitely compensate mm -hmm. them in much better way. But regarding, of course, life, as we said, um, there's a famous uh, saying is wherever there's light, there is darkness. Yes. So, as you mentioned, wherever we live, there is wherever there's good, there is bad. Um, how in would fact, in fact, if there is no bad, we will not know the good. Mm -hmm. Yes. If there's no darkness, you will not know the light because yeah. we know the light because there is there is darkness, mm -hmm. and we compare between them. If there is no darkness, how can we? know the light then when everything is light only light when there is no bad then we will not be able to know the the good there is good in this life and there is bad and we're being told to do always good and avoid bad mm -hmm. and of course doing mistakes or doing bad things unintentionally of course but repenting and even if it was intentionally repenting 
repenting and seeking yeah. forgiveness and deciding not to repeat. Of course, learning from that is yes, that is I grants mean, the person. A I say level. that doing mistakes mm -hmm. is not something which will take us immediately to the hellfire. No, no. Allah not. opens the gate always of forgiveness. Yes. In fact, we have got hadith that even the angels. Mm -hmm. They are angels. Yes, on our, yes. We have got every day, I mean daytime, two angels. Mm -hmm. Two angels. Everything is and ready. these two angels leave at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. When it is sunset, day is over, night is starting, another new angels will come for the night. So it's a change of shift. They change shift. Yes. And the angels never come again. Allah keeps mm -hmm. on sending new angels, mm -hmm. two in the morning till the evening, mm -hmm. till the sunset, and two new from the start of the night till the end of the night, Fajr mm -hmm. or sunrise. So angels write our deeds. If someone does bad, Allah tells the angels, don't write bad on him. Wait. Whether he Wait. repents or not. Right. Give him some time. Mm -hmm. We have got hadith that the angels wait for six hours. Mm. Six hours. If he repents, if he seeks forgiveness, the sins will not be written on him. But if he insists on doing wrong and wrong and wrong without repenting, Without seeing forgiveness, then it will be written hmm. on him. As he did, he did one wrong, it will be one. But if he does good, it will be immediately written for him 10 times minimum. Minimum. Mm -hmm. The good. Man jaa bil hasanati, falahu ashru amthaliha. Anyone who does good, Allah immediately grants him 10 times. 10 multiplications of what mm -hmm. he did. And this 10 can go to 70, can go to hundreds, can, can go to 700 times and can be more. Wallahi mm -hmm. liman yasha. So, see the encouragement to do good mm -hmm. and discouragement to do bad. And even if those who do bad, they do bad, the sins are not written on them immediately, but they are being given time to think again, repent, seek forgiveness, then the sin, if they seek forgiveness before the seven hours are over, or oh, we have got hadith also, if mm -hmm. they commit sin in the day, it will not be written till the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Or if they commit sin in the night, it will not be written till the end of the night, which means there is a time given, a grace, that think again, Come back. Don't go in the wrong without mm -hmm. thinking. So if they come back, Allah will forgive them. And if they insist on wrong, then they will get the result of what they insisted on. Mm -hmm. So just to clarify the whole point is that evil is not created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, the evil is the bad actions, as you the said. The bad actions by human yeah. beings who do bad. Mm -hmm. No, no evil from God at all. Exactly. So um, every everything from God is good. Ma asabaka min hasanatin fa Allah. Every good is from Allah. Wa ma asabaka min sayyatin fa min nafsik. Every bad is from ourselves.